No one to play with? There's always PartyPoker.com. Well, who would have thought nine hands would bring us to this? Pyra and Dave Clayton both have a lot more than they started with. And, uh, in fact, Peter Jealous has done nothing wrong. And uh, all of a sudden, he's looking short, Steve. Yes, it's quite amazing how this game goes. Uh, but he, he won't be too disappointed to have seen two players go out. Uh, there's only one more goes out, and they're through to the final. And, of course... It's worth bearing in mind that the blinds are still only one in 2,000. So even that short stack, really plenty of play, really. Yeah, well, it's been very aggressive so far. There's been cards matching up against each other, and players have made decisions that's meant that they've walked out the door. Yes. But with the blinds at 1,000, 2,000, there is no rush to be walking out third. Yes. Well, these players now yes. all guaranteed 10,000. And uh, basically, the next all-in pot will be a $10,000 pot because final table players are guaranteed $20,000. So there's a lot to think about. And Dejalis, uh looks like he has got money running through his ears. Well, they, they should all be now considering their strategy. And it was mentioned before at the start by Dave Clayton that he ex expected that the play would tighten up somewhat when it got down to four. I think that is a dot on the card, to be quite honest. I don't really see how anybody can continue in the same vein, even if they got great cards. Not saying they lay down aces or kings or something as big as that, but you might as well be a little bit wary. God, you'd hate to be rash here. I mean, the fact is, getting on that final table not only gets you money, but gives you the shot of that 125,000. Well, Yanni Sainton, knowing full well that probably people will be tightening up, has gone for the throat. Yeah, his race was 7-9, and Clayton's got a bit of a decision here with the ace-10. And, of course, he was in on the interview we were talking beforehand Pass. about the fact that he would tighten <laughs> up, and that's very <laughs> advanced thinking from Clayton, from, uh, sorry, from San Tyler there. I'll tell you going, going now on full tilt with 7-9. <laughs> no, not full tilt at all, but uh, deciding that perhaps if he keeps on showing strength, the other players will just bide their time and fold a bit more it's the time to try and accumulate some chips and look forward to the final because of course in the final all the players go through with the amount of chips that they have in front of them they don't all start off with the level chips so it's very important if you can go through with a big stack yeah I mean we know right now the current big stack at that final is 286,000 so if somebody one of these four players can get themselves over the 300,000 mark It'll really be a dial in on that hundred and twenty five grand first prize. Pass. Raise. Seven thousand. From the button. Raising with a pair of fi fives Pass. would be credible to raise from the button anyway, but a pair of fives <coughs> has something to offer. Giannis doesn't have to Pass. defend his blind in these situations. He's not so desperate. I mean, with the blinds at one in 2,000, obviously four players left the blinds go around faster, but it's costing you 3,000 around. It's, it's really nothing when you consider that, like, Dave Clayton's got 170,000. That's right, and as long as you don't play totally passive but play and, uh, and just keep on throwing your money in, occasionally raise and nick a couple of blinds your allotted times, no problems. Yeah, you could basically fold yourself silly for at least one level more. Fold yourself sick, anyway. 2,000 to call for Dave Clayton. Pass. Pass. And, uh, Pyra played those aces strong, but besides that, he's been very quiet. Raise. Removal of Pepe the dog total. to allow easy access to the chips. That's a big raise. <laughs> it is. No necessary need to raise that much Pass. in some respects, but how much do you want to win 2,000? Peter's played several pots, but the way he's played them is uh, sort of averting action. He's just taking the blinds, and when he does get action, you have to imagine it's going to be against someone who has a very good hand. Yes, and of course, the, the size of the pot then escalates to the stage where you're locked in to some degree and you feel like it's worth winning enough that you, you try and win it and um, it's of your own making. That's, that's the problem with raising big. 
Yeah, it's a, it's a risk reward thing, isn't it, Steve? I mean, Jalice keeps putting in about 12,000 to win three, uh, which means if one out of five times someone takes the pot off him, uh, he's only broken even. Nice. I think. Nice. <laughs> it sounded great to me, honestly. <laughs> At this time of night, <laughs> sounds even better. Pass. 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 Raise and take it from Andy Pyra, who is looking very unflinching. And uh, despite all the other chip movement we've had, he's still in the lead on the basis of that one big baboomba. Yes, Andy Pyra has got probably the not the biggest problem. It's a nice position to be out there in front, but he's got the potential to just sit tight and not do anything should he wish because 200,000 or so even 175 would be a lovely position to go into the final you know he could effectively just close sh the shop and put the shutters up and just wait for some other cards to match up yeah I mean at this stage we Pass. know that two players are going to be at that Pass. final table with under 200,000 or average chips and uh, I think we've got action here Steve Rest. two nines for Yanni and the re-raise comes from the small blind and the ace-queen suited. And now we're going to see Yanni in action Pass because these nines fold. are worth folding now to a re-raise. What does he put Dave Clayton on? If he calls, he'll only be calling to hit a nine, really. And he'd close up shop afterwards, I imagine. He's only put 7,000 in right now. You think it's automatic fold, really? He doesn't like it. Pass. But he's experienced enough to know it's the right thing to do. So Clayton draws a line in the sand. It's <coughs> about ace-queen high. And the re-raise, taking Yanni off the pot. <coughs> you never know what's going to happen at poker when the big cards match up regularly. It's a quick game. Clayton has the jaw of a boxer, doesn't he? Very chiseled, and he plays a little poker a little bit like one, too. He just kind of uh, circles, circles, and then uh, sticks in the haymaker. So yeah, and he's more of a jabber. Worth a raise? Raise. Raise to 7,000 total. There's the difference. A raise of 7,000. Not Pass. as big as the amount that uh, the person on his right puts in. Pyra's got n not great cards to a raise, to be quite honest. And you shouldn't consider getting involved, really. He's got the exact same two cards that Yanni has, but... Uh, He's in a small blind, yeah. but doesn't have to get involved. Cool. Four. But he can't help but call. <laughs> <laughs> he can't sure. help himself. But, uh, I mean, the fact that Yanni Sointula has raised this, Steve, I guess, means that uh, given the... Uh, chance of them both flopping nothing. Sointula has the advantage. Yeah, really. Andy Pyre was hoping to hit, hit a card, but of course the, the, he can't win now. All that's going to happen is that he can lose to, to a bluff, so to speak. And he's now going to be worried about the ace. 15,000. Although... That's the way to do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's amazing how the flop can actually influence so much. There was no way, really, that, uh, of course, the ace has hurt him. It seemed like the one thing that could not happen that pot was for Pyra to win. And uh, we got to retire because I thought that was, <laughs> and he couldn't possibly have won that hand. The Piranha taking Hellraiser off the pot. And uh, maybe the fact that he's chip leader has something to do with it, Steve. I, I don't know. Possibly, but he's seen, uh, he's seen second pair and thought, I'll represent something, and it's worked. If you'd have known that the, other, what the situation, it would have been the perfect thing to do. <laughs> but, of course, you wouldn't know that the other guy didn't have an ace with a raise from first position. I mean, a Andy is, of course, a, sort of an inexperienced player. He has not had that much time at the table, but... Sometimes there's just Six people who have talent, and uh, they do something. They can't explain why. You don't know why, but it was right. Uh, and a feeling for the game. So, uh, some innate Pass. ability to sense when there's danger and when there's not. Pass. Uh, two on the trot here for the piranha. King-queen from the button. Pretty standard. Raise and take it. 
You know, with so many people being introduced to this game in a very short space of time,